The Kimber Ultra TLE2 in 45 ACP. Let's check it out. When it comes to the 1911, 45 ACP is the caliber of origin. They started out with the U.S. military in 1911, went all the way to Vietnam, and it proved itself in combat over and over. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Kimber, and this is the Ultra TLE-2. It's tiny, and yet it has the same mag capacity as the original GI 1911s of seven rounds plus one in the chamber. So you have an eight round capacity with a very tiny package. Now, one of the things about a small gun like this, is just physics. It's gonna have a little more recoil. And we have an aluminum alloy frame. But man, this makes an excellent small concealed carry option that has a lot of power. And when it comes to the micro nines, I mean, 10 rounds, 11 rounds, and this is about the same size, but yet you're going with 45 ACP. And a big thank you to Kimber USA uh, for partnering with us by sending the Ultra TLE2 for this review. In 45 ACP, a small package like this, uh, this will be part of my concealed carry rotation. All right, the Kimber Ultra TLE2. And they make a number of different Ultra models. Ultra is their really subcompact with the three inch barrel. This is actually just a step above their basic Carry 2 model. Uh, they do make some other variations that are just more customized and honestly just more expensive with a lot of different upgrades to it. TLE stands for Tactical Law Enforcement. This is made as a duty gun. It's made for just practical, but yet the right features to make it more reliable. We'll take a look at some of those things, but this is really made as an, a law enforcement backup gun. Again, it is in 45 ACP. It does carry seven rounds in the magazine, one in the chamber. And guys, really, that'll give you eight rounds. Uh, a lot of times with the Micro 9s, you know, you're getting 10 rounds, 11 rounds, plus one in the chamber, uh, but this is 45. So, you know, it's just one of those things where you have a very small handgun, but you've got a decent round capacity in 45 ACP. <laughs> And one thing about the 1911 is how thin it is. I mean, it's a very streamlined, very thin handgun. It's one of the reasons why it's been so popular for so long. Take this out of the way. We're going to check to make sure the gun's unloaded. We're going to drop our seven round magazine. Uh, these are available at Kimber. This is the compact size. Again, it does hold seven rounds, which is the traditional round for your 1911. Of course, most now are eight with a full length grip. Uh, and we see the chamber is empty. Uh, this is an all black version. It only comes in 45 ACP for the TLE model. Uh, and of course, you know, magazines you can get, uh, they do even sell base pads, holsters that are available through Kimber. But this is a, just one of those covert type handguns. I mean, it is a matte finish. It's very well done, which is typical for Kimber. Has just a slight sheen to it, which makes it really nice, but it's not really reflective. We have the G10 black and green grips, has a lot of texturing on here. Uh, and then of course you have your mainspring housing with checkering. And then at the front strap, we have 30 lines per square inch. And that is really a very well done checkering job. And it gives this gun a very tight feel to it. Uh, it feels like you've really got it held in your hand. Now, I'll just be honest, uh, 45 ACP and a really small package like this, 
you know, it does pack a wallop, but it's very manageable. But again, you have 45 ACP coming out of a 3-inch barrel, which it does have a stainless steel 3-inch barrel. It is a match barrel, and the chamber is a match chamber. The muzzle of the barrel is crowned, has that little bevel that goes all the way around, uh, and this just helps to preserve your accuracy in case there's any kind of impact on the end of the barrel, it's going to protect it. It has a one-piece full-length guide rod, and this gun, though, the frame to slide fit is hand-fitted, uh, and I'll just tell you guys, this there is absolutely not even a little bit of movement, or if it is, it is almost imperceivable. Very slight, very well fitted. Uh, here at the front, of course, you have you know your bull barrel that comes out. And of course, you have this big hole, which I love, love this. I mean, it is just massive. And then we have, of course, our guide rod coming out. So it's a bushingless system, which a lot of guns have gone to that. No front cocking serrations, no accessory rail. This is just a slim, trim, get it done type firearm. Uh, no optics ready. Uh, they do make a number of optics ready handguns. But if you'll notice the slide, it has a step down. So it has the flat slide right here. Uh, you have your dovetail front sight and a dovetail rear sight. And these are tritium. Delta style hammer. Uh, we have a nice high rod beaver tail. No memory notch because it's a little bit shortened to accommodate for the mainspring housing and the shorter grip. And then we have our uh, frame safety, which is an extended frame safety. It's only on one side. Our slide stop right here, it is checkered very nicely. And then we have our standard uh, and maybe a little bit extended magazine release. And so as we release the magazine, it does shoot them out. And there is a bevel right here at the magazine well. Uh, I believe they do offer a extended magazine well uh, that just replaces the mainspring housing and then it kind of flares out some. Kind of minimal, but really nice for this gun if you want to be able to put those magazines in really quickly. But again, you do have that beveling. And really with a 1911, because it is so straight walled, it's nice to have a little bit of that bevel. Trigger is skeletonized and we do have a small set screw right here for your take up. Um, and, of course, guys, it's just that 1911 feel. Obviously, it has the 1911 to grip angle, which gives you a very natural point of aim. And yet, it's a really tiny package. Now, the frame is aluminum, uh, and so that just helps to lighten the weight. We'll check the weight out in a second. Of course, it is an all-steel slide. Serrations are well done. Uh, gives you a good gripping surface. They're spaced right. And so, and I'll tell you, if you get this back on an empty magazine, the slide stop, it's very difficult. Yeah, very difficult <laughs> to do. Uh, but honestly, most people don't even use slide stops. They typically just bring it back. We have a lowered and flared ejection port, and this just allows for better reliability, especially with hollow point ammunition. Uh, one of the things about 45 though is even shooting ball i mean you get a lot of energy but if you want to go with some of the self-defense ammunition that's really good quality uh, and really effective this just allows for this to feed and the shells to be able to be ejected of course your extractor is right here at the back and which is typical very well fitted now here we have a commander uh, style length barrel uh, and it has the full grip and so i just want to show just some little bit of difference between the two. As you can see, it kind of comes down some more. Uh, and this is actually a nine millimeter, but definitely a longer grip. And then here you have a much longer slide, much longer barrel. And honestly, a commander style um, 1911 is excellent for carry, uh, but this is an all steel pistol and it's really heavy. Uh, here with the aluminum frame and the shorter slide and barrel, plus the shorter grip, it just brings this into a very carryable size. 1911s are known for having exceptional triggers, and that has to do with it being single action. So we have take up right to here, very short take up. We hit a definite wall, <laughs> and then a very nice crisp break. And honestly, there's no over travel. And then uh, for reset, right there, very quick reset. All right, let's check the trigger pull weight. Kimber says between four and five pounds just under the five pound range. And 
We're right about the five pounds. And weight on the Ultra TLE2, 26.2 ounces. We really appreciate Fiocchi for sponsoring the ammunition, all made in the USA. Uh, one of the number one suppliers of ammunition in the country. And we also appreciate Lula Loaders, even with this single stack 1911 mag. We can do double stacks, single stacks. I mean, this is such a versatile loader and it actually helps you to unload. And we really appreciate Lula for sending these. Guys, Kimber's known for its 1911s. I've been making them for a long time and I just love the finish that they put on these. Uh, this is a tiny 1911 in 45 ACP and it's the Ultra TLE2. Very small, very compact and I'll tell you guys, you know, it's a handful but it's got 45 ACP, seven rounds. Uh, one thing I would recommend not doing is resting your thumb on that extended uh, frame safety because it will <laughs> work on the web of your hand. But very ergonomic, uh, even though it's a short grip with the seven rounds, gives it more of a full tight grip. Uh, for me, I have medium sized hands, but I can still wrap it around it. If you've got larger hands, it's gonna be a lot smaller. But it's a tiny handgun, just that standard and traditional 1911 feel to it. And uh, the sights are just excellent sights, three dot, I mean, it's got some kick to it, you know, but it's not that bad. In fact, I was just resting my thumb on that safety and it actually controls it better. And really it didn't, didn't get me like it did the first time. I think I've gotten used to shooting it. We've been putting quite a few rounds through this. Just an excellent small pistol, very concealable. And with 45 ACP and seven rounds, I mean, that is quite a bit. I mean, you know, they all fall to ball and the 45 ACP is known for being a great self-defense round and yet in a really tiny, small package. Dang. Now let's go through the disassembly and field strip. Uh, let's go ahead and make sure the gun's unloaded, the magazine is empty. Uh, first thing you want to do is bring back and put it in the slide lock. And right here in your full-length guide rod, there's a hole. And so you want to just put this little tool inside the hole. And when it comes through, it'll lock into place. Now release your slide stop and bring it to that second notch right there. Then we're going to push from the other side our slide stop, and we're just going to pull it right out, just like that. Go ahead and release your slide. It is under a little bit of tension, so we're going to pull it on off. No pulling of the trigger. It comes right off. Uh, next, we're just going to go ahead and remove our full length guide rod. Now you want to make sure that you're not out of line with your tool to block the, the action. So you may have to just push it up and line this up. There we go. And this comes right out. Uh, if you do not retain this, it is a real bear to get this back in. Alright, put your barrel link down and then just push your barrel straight out. Now with the recoil spring and guide rod, we can bring it forward and we can remove this tool. Uh, you'll need to put it back on uh, when you get ready to reassemble. And then just remove your barrel bushing or your recoil bushing. Uh, you can pull this spring off, but it's not necessary. Man, that is a tiny barrel with a big hole. <laughs> and you can see how it fits up to the slide itself right here and it kind of bulls out. And then we have some relief cuts, and then we have your lugs. Nice polished feed ramp, easy to get that bullet right into the chamber. And again, this is a match barrel, and the chamber is also match. And that means it's set to really tight tolerances. Beautiful machining, which is typical for Kimber. A few years ago, Kimber did go through a little bit of some QC issues, but man, they revitalized and came back strong. And of course you have your 1911 style frame. And one thing I like about the 1911 is this ample rail section. And it's on both sides. You have, do have a split here. 
but this allows for the frame and slide to fit and to extend and gives it a very smooth feel going back and forth. Guys, that's all you need to do to field strip for reassembly. Uh, we're going to take our barrel and we're going to make sure our link is in the down position. Go ahead and put it into the front of the slide. Now take your guide rod with your recoil spring, put the plug or the recoil spring plug on there. Now we're going to depress this and once we get it down, we're going to find that hole and put your tool inside, just like that. You want to make sure that these little wings, which fit against your barrel, are lined up with your recoil spring. Now make sure your tool does not extend past where your plug is and go ahead and put it back into place, just like that. Now make sure your barrel link is in the down position because that's where your slide stop goes through. Go ahead and put it back over the frame. Now I like to go ahead and insert my slide stop when I see the barrel link and I just leave it in this position. I'm going to bring it back to where that little notch is, lift it up. You want to get it really close to that detent because you don't want to have an idiot scratch and scratch up your frame. Just like that. And it snaps in. Now we're going to release the spring or the slide. Bring back your slide just a little bit and pull out that tool and then let it go forward. And we're checked and we're back in business. Comes with a nice hard case. Inside, of course, you get your handgun. Comes with one magazine. Uh, and that's a little bit of a con just because it's nice to get an extra magazine. But 1911 magazines, there's so many different styles out there. And some people really like particular magazines for their 1911. Uh, and of course, you get your owner's manual, you get your takedown tool. It comes with a chamber flag, and there's the usual suspects here at the bottom with your lock and other paperwork. The MSRP on the Kimber Ultra TLE2 is $1,190. Uh, when it comes to their standard stainless model or even their blued, they start out just under $1,000. And then, of course, there are models that exceed this. With Kimber's Custom Shop, there's a lot of cool features that you can add to this gun. Magazines on the Kimber website run $31.95, and of course there's a myriad of other magazine choices you can get. Holsters, extra magazines, bumper pads on the bottom, different parts. As far as the pros and cons, uh, first off, it is a very small 45 ACP 1911 that holds seven rounds plus one in the chamber. The Delta Hammer, the High Ride Beaver Tail, the G10 Grips, excellent trigger. Great serrations, uh, the flat slide on a 1911, tritium sights. It just makes it an excellent no snag, low drag option for concealed carry, especially if you want to carry 45 ACP. Uh, the checkering here and here is just excellent, and it gives you a really solid grip. Now, with that being said, you're going to need a good solid grip because it has some recoil. And honestly, if you're used to shooting 1911s, definitely it has a little more recoil, but it's very manageable. Uh, one thing with this extended safety is when I first started shooting it, I pressed my thumb against the safety and it kind of worked my hand right here pretty good. Uh, I switched to just going under the safety and it shot really well and I was able to mitigate the recoil. But I ended up going back over the safety, and then it didn't hurt. It was just the way I'd had my thumb set. So, you know, if you try this and it's like, wow, that, that's painful, try it a different way, and you'll find that really it does help mitigate recoil by just giving you a gas pedal. It's very thin. It's very compact. Uh, you know, it's really easy to carry, and the 1911 is already super thin. So this just makes it short and thin. The fit with the slide to frame is just excellent. The barrel is very well done with a match barrel. The accuracy is right on par. If I was going to give it any kind of con, maybe just replacing it with a, an aluminum mainspring housing if that matters to you. Uh, this is just going to save a little bit of weight. This can be upgraded if you want. You can add different parts to it. Uh, but for what it is, uh, the trigger is really well done. I, I really like the crisp break. Any 1911 you can spend a lot of money on. Uh, but I think that this one, right out of the box, is an excellent concealed carry choice. Price might be a little bit expensive. $1,190 retail, of course, market price is going to be less. 
but that puts it into those more medium range quality uh, 1911s like Springfield Armory and for that matter Colt. But the fit and finish on the Kimber is just excellent. I mean, it has a beautiful finish on it. It's one of the things that Kimber has been known for for a long time. Kimber did go through a period of quality control that, you know, they even had some problems with their finishing and they had some other issues, but they've come out very strong since that time. I've talked to a lot of the guys at Kimber and, you know, they admit, they said, you know, during that time we had some issues we got that cleaned up and we're really doing our best to put the best product out there. And I really think that it, they do. I mean, we've been doing some Kimber reviews lately and they're just top notch and they're holding up very well. And they're very reliable. And I think that's one of the big things uh, with the Kimber 1911s is they've gotten the reliability down to where, I mean, we had no malfunctions. I shot 500 rounds through this thing and man, I'll tell you, when I finished, I knew it but it really made me confident to carry this thing on my hip and to be able to get rounds on target. So guys, a 1911 in a very small package using that original 45 ACP caliber and really not losing any round capacity with your standard old GI 1911s, which have stood the test of time. Uh, you know, the one thing about 1911s is they've been around since 1911 and they are more popular today than they ever have been. Now, 9mm has eclipsed the 45 ACP in popularity, but man, there's just something about the 45 ACP that just gives you a lot of confidence. And 7 plus 1 is a great concealed carry option. And again, a big thank you to Kimber USA for sending the Ultra TLE2 in 45 ACP for this review. Be strong, be of good courage. God bless America, long live the Republic. I moved. I saw you jump. <laughs> yeah, that's because I'm standing there thinking you're not going to shoot and then you just start shooting. Oh, the baby. Yeah, well, the baby. it still makes a devastating round. It still makes a dev. It makes an incredible. Man, that's a little beast. <laughs> Love it. We have been working with Kimber to bring you a lot of cool reviews, but you know, kiss my butt. Uh, impact on the on the on the muzzle of the cake. Okay. <laughs> the mother, the mother, the mother, the mother. <laughs> a little bit tricky to get out. Good God, not little. It's not a little tricky. It's very tricky.